Um, as a former teacher, I, I can only imagine how challenging it was to layer on uh, figuring out Zoom and uh, virtual and hybrid uh, teaching formats on top of everything else that your challenging job threw at you. And of course, as a parent, uh, I also know uh, from having watched uh, three kids go through uh, the pandemic uh, and struggle, but also have extraordinary teachers be there for them. Uh, how amazing all of you are, and the fact that I am now in the room with the very best teachers in Canada is extraordinarily humbling, but thank you for everything you guys, you guys have been doing and will continue to do. Today, with the Teaching Awards, and this week with World Teachers Day, we have the opportunity to celebrate the transformative role you play in our children's lives. As someone who, yes, spent time in front of a classroom, I know there are many different aspects to being a teacher. Every day you take on the roles of coaches, mentors, advocates, guides on the side, motivational speakers, friendly adults looking out for them. Um, you walk so many different paths that are different with every student you meet. And the challenge of meeting them where they are and bringing them to where they can go uh, is one that demands the very best of you every day and that you always consistently rise to. But let's be straight about things. The past couple of years have been really tough and you're still adapting. Day in, day out, you continue to be there for our kids and our government will continue to be there for you. During the pandemic, we invested to improve school ventilation and purchase personal protective equipment. For students and young people, we continue to invest in training programs and financial assistance. And while we help students prepare for their future, we're also investing in their well-being for today. This year's recipients of the Teaching Awards and last year's recipients are also with us here today. Thank you, all of you, for innovating and leveraging technology to be able to pace your classes based on each student's needs. Thank you for holding science fairs and art projects and for teaching the importance of indigenous languages and culture. Exceptional teachers and educators like you who prepare young people for success. By believing in our kids and inspiring them to live their dreams, you're making our collective future brighter and our country stronger. And it's not easy though. When we were living through times of tremendous challenges and disruption. And not just the pandemic, which of course is the most obvious one. The anxiety people are feeling about climate change, about war and global instability, about poverty, about the challenges that echo in our nightly news from around the world. It's easy for kids, it's easy for anyone, but especially for kids to feel small, faced with the challenges of the world. 